Okay, now there are 33 million of them around the world. 20,000 are here in New Zealand and two of them are joining us for Coffee Group today. From Scouts New Zealand, Caroline Perry and 15-year-old Tegan Allen. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Really nice to have you in the studio. Firstly up, Tegan, I must ask you, what are these badges um, along your front mean? Okay, so all these badges, they're the unit badges. So that the orange one there is for Kias, that's starting at the youngest age possible. Yellow is Cubs and Green Scouts and the ready one is Ventures. So you've been in it for quite a while. How yes. old are you when you start? Um, I was about five or six when I started. Wow. And yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Caroline, what made you get involved? Uh, so I personally I was a, a brownie and a guide when I was younger and so I had lots of opportunities through that and then when I be became an adult, finished university, wanted to give something back in my community and um, to give other young people the kinds of experiences that I had as a young person and there was a scout group that actually the Cub pack was going to close if they didn't get more leaders so I thought well I'll give scouts a go and see how it how it goes and that was 14 years ago and I got hooked. And, and you're still there. Still here. Plus, traditionally <laughs> when I used to think of scouts when I was young of it, it it seemed like scouts was the boys thing and girls and brownies and guides was a girls thing but that's obviously not the case anymore no not the case at all as yeah. <laughs> yeah so how come you got involved so young what got you into it um well one of my really close friends from school invited me along because she was already in Kia's and I just fell in love with it I started going and then yeah it just kept on getting better and better so what sort of things do you do um well we go on lots of tramps and camps and all sorts of activities we do lots of team building um yeah just it's all about everything. being in the outdoors, isn't yeah. it? Learning some yeah. Do you learn some really good skills? Uh, yes, amazing skills. All these organisational skills, outdoor skills that you really need to know how to yeah. survive in. So what's the most yeah. adventurous thing that you've done? Um, probably probably one of the hikes. I would say the Tongariro Crossing. We did oh, that. That looks amazing. Yeah. There's some beautiful things, some, some shots yes. on the screen now. Caroline, what about you? What's the most adventurous thing you've done? Uh, um, I've, done I've had so many opportunities through Scouts to do lots of different activities like Tegan has yeah. as well. Um, for me, one of the the, probably the biggest things I did was to sail off a, a dam wall um, a few years ago, which was uh, hugely exciting to do. Um, but there's all sorts of things that as a, a leader, even with, with what the young people are doing, you get to have a go at so many different activities. And we have national scout schools um, as well. So Tegan has just got yeah. back from the photography school, which is one of them. And it's just fantastic opportunities. Gosh, there's some great things you can do. And I guess yes. it's probably good networking too. You meet some really fascinating people, Tegan. Yeah, I've made so many through so many friends through, through Scouts, um, like at Jamborees you meet all these different people from different countries and places, like I met some people from I think it was Japan at the 2014 Jamboree and I've been in contact with them ever since. That's, That's great, that'll help you on your OE later on yes. in life too. Yeah, um, how's exactly. it made a difference in your life Caroline? Oh, uh, in a few different ways. I also have made lots of friends through Scouts. Um, so I'm, I'm friends with some of the leaders here and also um, with my old group back in the UK as well. I'm still friends with a lot of the leaders from that group as well. Um, but also as well as the giving back to the community um, side of things, which I was always really keen on giving young people those opportunities, just having the chance to do different skills. So A, the adventurous activities, mm. which are fantastic. But for me, I got opportunities that I didn't get through work earlier on. So in my early 20s I was managing other volunteers as a as a leader um, and having other skills like bookkeeping and all sorts mm. through being involved in a group which I didn't get the chance to do through work until later in life. And those are skills that you really need in life that's for sure. <laughs> um, so yesterday was World Scarf Day what is that all about? So uh, everyone who's a, a member of Scouts or a former member of Scouts wears their scarf to school to work um, and it's a, a symbol it's actually of um, our Scout promise and wanting to um, make the world a little bit better. So why is your, well? yeah. yours black and why is yours coloured? Um, we're from different troops so each different group has their own different coloured scarf or different patterns. So. Alright so it's kind of like a rugby team colours. Yeah, yeah, so, so you can recognise yeah, each other by yeah, what coloured yeah, scarf yeah. you're wearing. Oh, OK. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, she's a black scarf wearer. <laughs> yeah. She's from. So mine's actually a national, yeah. so this is the national scarf. Oh, really? I'm currently a national section leader mm -hmm. as a volunteer a as well. A national section. So mine's black. So why, do, why do scouts need more volunteers? Well, we um, need volunteers in lots of capacities at Scouts, but we can't run the Scout groups without volunteers, mm -hmm. essentially. So there's about 5,000 volunteers in Scouts at the moment, which is fantastic, and they give uh, lots of time every week to run all these activities for young people. But we've got a lot of groups that have got waiting lists mm -hmm. and can't take more young people until we have more leaders. Um, we need more people for co group committees to help to run the groups. Do you need experience? Or what sort of experience do you need? No, not necessarily. Full training is provided as well. Just 
next day, come along and give it a okay. go. It's huge amounts of fun and really rewarding Sounds as well. Sounds it. Uh, Tegan, what would you say to anyone who's thinking about joining Scouts? Um, just do it. You will get so many amazing experiences and skills out of it. Like, I've learned so much and it's changed my character so much since when I started. And yeah, you'll learn to love it. And you get to do cool stuff as well. Yeah. Cool Amazing stuff as well. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that sounds so good. Uh, Tegan, awesome. Caroline, thank you so much for joining us today.